I got my cart. I'm at the Goodwill in Palmyra, Pennsylvania, near Hershey, Pennsylvania. Thrift with me. Let's see what I can find. Across the aisle, what do I see? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Crystal decanter, $2.99. Do you feel how heavy it is? Do you see the purplish tone of the crystal? Do you see the matching stopper? Ah, oh, that's a beautiful piece. That's a beautiful piece. And I've told you what these are worth. This is worth about $115. So this is a really nice piece sitting here, sitting here amongst the not so great faces. <laughs> so this I really like. I'll put it up here so somebody finds it. Let me move the plastic, plastic, plastic. That's really nice. Look how long the stopper is. See where it goes? Almost halfway down the neck. That's also important for value. The bulb or the skirt is really nice. And when you get down here, you can see how it goes inside. You can see that, that this is nice and sharp. This is all cut. This is all cut, all cut crystal. That's a nice piece. Look at this, where it comes up and goes down and comes up and goes down. That's another, that's another element that makes it higher quality. So that's really good. Uh, time period, well, probably dates to about the 70s, but that's a really nice piece. And I'd say 115 bucks on that. And they want $2.99. That's what they want. <laughs> so, got to take that home. Wow. But I'm leaving it for you. I'll leave it right here. You'll find it. So, so just as I was condemning this whole aisle, of course, I found this, <laughs> which is a little German reticulated, punched out plate, a little bit of gold leaf, and uh, the Rococo figures, the, the lovers, very French. This is a revival of that time period because that time period is the 1700s and this of course is from the 1900s but it's, it's a pretty nice piece it's bone china you can see the color of the bone china really pretty nice good quality this is bone china see how white it is this is not lower quality see how beige it is off white you want the bright white uh, so value on this just about twenty dollars for 2.99 Looks like Lennox, feels like Lennox, but isn't. Isn't Lennox. Interesting. Um, my process is once you see the color and then all of this jagged. Lennox would have all of that nice and smooth. So you can see that that is a shape that Lennox would use, but not Lennox. And same thing here, but this is definitely made in China. And you can see that just from the decoration. They usually have this kind of little heart with this little Come, sort of coming out one way, not a full heart or straight heart to the end, and made in China, right? There it is. But when the heart has this sort of curve at the end, it's usually made in China. So this is kind of an interesting way that they organize it. It's by color. So, you know, so we've got the yellows. Oh, look, maize and blue for Michigan. Okay, <coughs> so we've got the yellows here. Oh, I bought one of these <laughs> for the brownies. And let me tell you, the brownies still stick. You know, they just, they stick. I, I bought the thing and I thought it would work and it doesn't work. Maybe, maybe the one I bought doesn't work. Maybe that one does, but I don't think it works. <laughs> and then, uh, well, here's something that was in the manner of an artist from the uh, 1960s called Harry Bertoia. Of course, this is not the Bertoia, but they started to reproduce these uh, not that long ago, maybe five years ago. But so, okay, so that's kind of gold. So it comes in the yellow aisle. I'd leave that there because it's not the real thing. I, we're near Hershey. So, of course, Reese's, you would expect to see some Reese's, right? And some other candy. I like the yellow. It's sunny and bright and nice. But this piece is not worth much more than $2.59. So, you know, it's just pretty decorative. It's got some chips. So, again, I'd leave those. Remember, chips are very bad. Through the games here. Oh, uh, <laughs> How many of you think that this is actually your life and not just a game? <laughs> the kids are out to beat you. Yeah, they're going to beat the parents. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of games here. Some old games, actually. You know, here's a game of knowledge, facts in five. Right? Some of these are kind of old. And if you'll notice, there's a lot of trivial pursuits. There's a trivial pursuit here and a trivial pursuit there and a trivial pursuit down on the bottom shelf. So it seems like nobody really wants to deal with knowing trivia. So here's more. Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Everybody got rid of all those games where you ask a question, right? You know, the games with the questions. <laughs> I don't know if I can get them out. The blue cards are the ones. Who joined the Office of Strategic Operations after a near-fatal plane crash? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Steve Austin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that was the Bionic Man. Do you remember that, sh that show? The Six Million Dollar Man. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, of a type. So there you go. All right, puzzles. Puzzles usually do pretty well. A lot of people do resell puzzles. So depending on, of course, their condition and what their subject matter is. And here's another Trivial Pursuit All-Star Sports Edition. <laughs> Tells you something about us. We really don't want to answer questions. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Barbie, uh, in great condition. You know, you wanted a new condition, about ten dollars. Uh, once it's open, not so much. But look for those. Those look for the princesses. You know, look for the collectibles and look for the the well-known toys, right? So the Barbies, Kens, that kind of thing. The Powerpuff Girls and such. All right, let's keep going. So here's another themed aisle, pink and purple. Here's the red, mostly plastics, but in red. And here's the theme that we have in the store, blue on the other side. And this is the green aisle. You see the different variations of green. Well, these are on an end cap because they don't know where to put them because they're all different colors and everything is by color aisle. So I saw this and you see the stippling that we talked to you about at some point but basically notice how it doesn't go all the way to the rim see how this little spot is not stippled doesn't have the bumps right so that's the reproduction Let me move this thing <laughs> so you can get a sense of what it is so that's the reproduction from about the 1960s 1970s not the 1940s now for 6.99 i think that's a little bit high but it has a good look to it but you know not the big number you're looking for and see the seam see the seam right here Look at the damage right there on the seam. So this you gotta keep here because at $6.99, you're really not gonna do very well, unless you have to have the green color, but I would say I'd leave that there. However, these are not of high quality, but for $4, you're gonna get the set. Because it's difficult to get a set of these matching good condition and such, especially at a low at a low price. So the low price has a lot to do with it too. You know, three ninety nine, but you've got a set. So nineteen fifties, and you've got the two large and the small. So that's usually what you're looking for in a set like this. So I would say yes, no to quality if there's only one of them, but yes because there's a set. Set collection value can increase value of all the pieces a little bit. So if you have a set, buy the set. I say it all the time. The other piece I think is the stellar piece of this, of this whole area here, is this piece. This piece is 10 bucks. It's really nice. It's beautiful colors. It's big. It's heavy. It's a nice piece of blown glass. Obviously, it's blown. Um, it does have some dirt on the interior. I'll show you that, which I think is easy to get clean. A little bit of dirt on the interior, but a big, heavy piece of blown glass. And I mean, that baby is, you know, easily 14, 14 inches tall. That's a really nice piece. I like that. So I think you can definitely get 80 bucks out of this for the color, for the type, for the size. And it's only $10. So I would definitely take that. That's a real bargain on the road. That's nice. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know if you need the top to the Farberware. I have these dishes. My mother had these uh, these pans. I had these pans, and it's hard to get these tops so <laughs> without buying a whole new pan, set of pans. So those are pretty nice, actually. That's the Farberware, new Farberware lids. Uh, what else? These are plated. Not this, but, well, it's kind of heavy. But this is plated. This is nice for $2.99, but it's plated, silver plate. But I would still say that's a nice serving tray. It's not damaged. It's not scratched. It is plated, but it's a nice piece. All right, I'll put that back up there. I also like the, 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 the size of it I like. It's not too big. It's not so big. Um, and I also like the design. Pewter, big in the 1970s. These are real pewter. And this is fake. So fake is much more silver and then the pewter is much more of a gray silver color. This is a much more of a base metal and it's much of a, of a brighter silver color. So in this case, leave the brighter silver and stick with the pewter or the more gray, the duller gray silver color. Okay, um, these are nice and look, you got a match of the good ones. So pewter's back, so look for these. These are $2.99 for each one, a little high, 
but they're easily twenty. They're easily twenty dollars for the pair. Oh, I know all you young people think that this is crazy. You don't need a huge remote. Your day will come. You're going to need the huge remote, and you're going to be looking for those buttons. <laughs> We're going to look through some books. I'm going to do it Dr. Lori style. It's going to be kind of quick, but uh, I saw some as I was coming through here. Novels. Uh, you got to be careful. Okay, so novels that everybody knows. The Da Vinci Code, hardback. So you want to look for edition numbers. You're going to find those here on this page after the title page. So here's your title page. The next page is going to be the important page about uh, copyright, who the publisher is, and the, co and the copyright date. So that's going to be important. But uh, well-known, has the jacket. The jacket's always important. Sue Grafton novels of the alphabet. M is for murder. Q is for quarry. Some people collect all of them. So if you see one, pick it up. Uh, then you have pieces like, uh, well, you know, here's another, there's another Dan Brown. So if you got one, you might as well get two. And then we've got other ones like, let me see, what have I got? Oh, okay. Then a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this, that the art books resell very, very well. It could be uh, art of a time period, like the Renaissance. It could be a major artist. Um, it could be a, a movement, you know, the pre-Raphaelite, something like that. And don't forget about architecture. Richard Pratt actually is a very, very well-known architectural historian. So I would say both of these are keepers. How much is this one? $2.99. That's a $50 book. $2.99. That's a $30 book. Um, then you've got pieces like these. The Frugal Gourmet, right? The cookbooks, which we've talked about a lot. So cookbooks like the Frugal Gourmet, very, very popular with the original dust jacket. That looks like an early edition. It's got an early ISBN number two. So that's that one, I would say. That one, Miss Manners, right? Um, some people like to read these. You know how funny it is, what you're supposed to do. And Hints from Heloise was, of course, pre-internet. Uh, before you had YouTube videos telling you how to clean your house. It was Heloise who told you about white vinegar and stuff like that. So those, and let me keep looking here. The Downton Abbey cookbook. So, I mean, I'm sorry. Anybody who loves Downton Abbey is going to pay $1.99 for that. And it's in beautiful condition. That's it. The spine is nice and strong. I'd say that's a $50 book. So I got, I got you know, $50, $100, $140, $140, another another 35, a little bit of damage, but cookbooks are like that. And here's the jackpot. The New Moon series, Breaking Dawn, Breaking Dawn, Stephanie Meyer, Eclipse, a very, very popular um, series of hardcover books. Uh, you know, Harry Potter, Stephanie, uh, you know, um, J.K. Rowling's, Stephanie Meyer, a lot of these uh, great authors. And these are hardcover too, and they're in good shape with the dust jacket. So, $1.99, $2.99, I'm telling you, these are going to go easily, easily. You're going to get 25 25 25 and 30 out of those. So, there's hundreds of dollars in one, two, three, four piles of books. So, don't overlook books either. I had fun thrifting. My guard's empty. I left it all for you.